we have a Nintendo shell that we are going to cut a acrylic window in on two separate areas. This area, so it will display the game that we are playing and there will be some black lights inside to kind of light it up. And over here on this side, it will have a window so that you can see its brand new cooling system. Oh yes, we are also going to put cooling fans and heat sinks on it. It's going to be a fun trip. Here are our components for everything that we're going to be using. We have our acrylic windows for our shell, our shell. The bottom, which we're going to also use these RF shields, but we're going to modify them after we get our window cut. This is our cartridge acceptor, screws. This panel will cover the power side, but we'll have to do that after we include our fans. PlayStation fans. So that's going to be fun. Let's uh, get to work, shall we? All right, we are going to <clears throat> go ahead and test fit our cooling fans. Now I've already wrapped my wires in my wiring wrap that I have, that I always use. And this is our Nintendo. All right. Now let's do some placement for our cooling fans. I want this little guy right up, right about there, I think. So it blows this way, kind of on this capacitor. The big guy, I think we're gonna put him right about there. We are going to cut our holes in all the corners. We've marked out square, and if it's not perfectly square, we can fix that with sanding. We have our our lights already installed, so we're gonna have to uh, be careful around them. But uh, so far, so good. Now we just need to cut our lines out and make it nice and presentable. Now that we have our holes drilled in all of our corners, we can go ahead and. Uh, Test fit our shell and looks like that one will drop in just ni nicely. Now this this piece I've had to notch it so hopefully it works. Oh yeah perfect perfect all right so now we need to go ahead and cut our holes. This should be interesting.
So there's our hole in our Nintendo. I know you guys think I'm freaking crazy. Sometimes I am. Not bad. Now we just gotta get that one cut. Alrighty, we have our holes cut out. <clears throat> now we need to measure the distance from the edge so that we can uh, see how off we are from square. So that one's about 19.9. Uh, Eight point three ish, and about seven point six. So a little bit off this side. Then we have forty-nine point five. Forty-nine point five. So this one's perfectly square. Sweet. Just gotta smooth it out. Twenty-two eight. Twenty-two five. I'm happy with that. Six point five, five point seven, off a little bit. We are about to sand our lines down to our holes and hopefully keep it symmetrical. Uh, as you may or may not know, sanding is my most hated of all things, so we're going to come back to this when it's done just like that alrighty so our square is sanded pretty good uh, it's not a hundred percent but it's uh, 80 not 88 percent maybe something like that uh, we got some more sanding to do uh, but I think I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and end the video uh, here and we'll continue a part two on this now you, you might be wondering why does he always stop the video why doesn't he ever just finish the video all the way through well it's uh, it's just the way I do things uh, sometimes I want to work on the Nintendo sometimes I want to work on the bike so I kind of hop around a lot just to kind of give you guys a little bit of variety and not the same thing over and over again. But uh, yeah, I think we are definitely on the right track as far as our clear Nintendo window thingy is concerned. That's hard to do with one hand. But, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I've piqued your interest enough to keep you coming. Uh, if you do like this kind of stuff, uh, subscribe, uh, like if you liked it, hit dislike if you didn't like it. That lets me know I need to make it better. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.